welcome back selfie stick uh, we're in the Peak District me and Grandad Keith I've managed to tear him away from his allotment with it snowing he's not getting much done in there are you at the moment not at, nothing at all no uh, so what we're we doing today uh, we're taking a walk doing a walk which should be st uh, starting from Sistons Clough but it's uh, we're going to start it from uh, Flash where we can park the car a bit uh, safer safer and uh, we're going to do a seven and a half seven and a half mile circular walk yep what t what time is it now uh no idea it's probably about 12 o'clock yeah we're going to be late yeah <laughs> we've got torches and we're in the is it the highest village in uh britain according to the sign britain but i think there's a high one in scotland yeah so we're not quite dead sure but all we do know is if it snows here tonight I'm in serious trouble because I've got to pick Kirsty up from the train station later. At Ten o'clock, <laughs> and I've got the keys to the house. So, but anyway, we'll we'll set off. It's going to be a, quite a random adventure, but uh, we'll see what happens along the route. So where are we? Uh, I think Northfield Farm. It's a bit of an equestrian centre. I think we're on the right track because we've asked away and we've been told that yeah, we are on the right track. <laughs> You, looks mm. like you've made a friend. I know. He loves me sandwiches. I know. We've been, been trying to get him out for the last five minutes. Nibbling holes in my rucksack, yeah. It's done about half a mile or so across the fields, and it is actually quite heavy going. And uh, we've just past the, the Buxton Road, the main Buxton Road, and where are we going next? Neverbank. Neverbank. I think it's this way. <laughs> Can you be a bit more specific? <laughs> that way. <laughs> What's that way? Summer Hill. Summer Hill. That's what we're heading for at the minute. We're not too particular on the route that we're going to follow today, but uh, we're exactly on the route we're going today. Well, we are at the minute, but we're not likely to be in a bit. <laughs> but the plan is, we're going to be walking up to uh, Dale Head and potentially going into a pub. And from there, we're going to be heading up to Axedge Moor and uh, possibly do a bit of a detour onto the triangulation pillar for a, for a coffee or something. But uh, the aim of the game is to have a bit of work out, burn a few calories and uh, enjoy the snow. So we've got a flash in that direction and uh, basically we've just walked round in a big arc up to here and we're going to pick up this fork in the road, do a right and then head up to Axedge Moor. It's, uh, it is a bit of a long way round, but uh, it was just avoiding the main road and making a bit of a walk out of it. Keith, yeah. look how close to the pub we are. I know. I can't believe it. Yeah. This is as close as we're going to get. <laughs> it's, this is not, not, not the normal Keith. Is it your New Year's resolution? No. no. Too cold to be drinking, I think. <laughs> So we're just following the main road in that direction, well, main road, path, and uh, we, we noticed a pillar on the left hand side, and uh, it look, almost looks like a triangulation pillar, but it's not, but we just can't help going to investigate it, just there. It's one of them things where if you're going to put a stone on top of a bit of a mound, I'm going to walk to it to find out what it is. Uh, there's no obvious signs, but uh, I just like seeing these things. So that's the uh, that's the target coming into view. Axedge Moor via kind of that route. It was quite impressive today. Should be nice and clear up there, hopefully. Is it called Axedge Moor because it's shaped like an axe? Uh, no, it's. Uh an old wor word axe is the water source 
How did you know that? It says it on the first page of the walk. <laughs> right, okay. It's actual sheet ice walking down here. And uh, Keith's nearly gone over twice already. So all we, were, all we were saying is it's perhaps a good idea that he didn't have a beer. Ready for this? Well, that takes us up there, does it? Yep. Okay. That's Got a down and then a pretty substantial up. Ten to two. So yeah, we might be in the dark later on, but it's not a problem because we've got torches and we like a bit of a challenge. Made it up the dip. Are you ready? Yep. Somebody's tied the gate up. Don't worry about it. Can you not get through? Can you undo it or? Yeah. Oh, actually, do you want me to undo that? <laughs> Tell you what, we walk round it. Oh, then. <laughs> so we've just crossed the uh, the main road to Buxton, which is actually quite close to the, the summit of Axe Edge Moor, which is in that that direction. But it's it's so steep going up that way. We're having to take a, a nice gentle route round round the side of it, and then up onto the plateau so that's the way we're going Whew. so we've uh, we've left the road behind civilization it's nice and peaceful It's uh, definitely a workout. The uh, getting a few drifts, snow drifts. <laughs> that looks a bit deeper than I was expecting. <laughs> side that should be about a kilometre or so and then uh, up to Axe Edge Moor itself so we did this a few years ago and I seem to remember we were waist deep in snow and I think that might happen again Some people out walking over there. It's actually the first people that we've actually seen today. We just made it to the road and uh, that was quite heavy going the last 40 minutes because one minute you was up to your waist and then the next minute you was two inches into the snow. So uh, hopefully it's not going to be that bad going that way. It's basically right up onto the top of that which is about half a kilometer pick your own route that's why I let Keith go first to see if there's any holes
In terms of falling down the holes, keeps winning 2 0 so far. Or is it just about to become 3 0? Just see the pillar and the distance, about 100 metres. And I'm ready for a hot drink. to make the most of the uh, of the sun and uh, enjoy the start of the sunset I guess it's that uh, time of day golden hour It's uh, pretty Baltic, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, we're going to head towards the car in the fastest direction and probably head for the road for the uh, quickest route because it's uh, the temperatures just dropped rapidly. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. oh, cracking sunset on the go. Found another hole. Yep. <laughs> I think I've just found it as well. <laughs> Temperature dropped at a phenomenal rate, and uh, normally, if you were wild camping, I suppose uh, that'd be the point where you'd zip your tent up and get in your sleeping bag. But uh, when you're still walking, there's not a lot you can do about it. So. Uh, Thought we'd better get off as quick as we could. So we've just made it to the uh, to the part where we climbed Axe Edge Moor earlier on, where we came from across the road. And uh, to make it a bit shorter and more direct, we're just going to walk down the uh, the pathway on the uh, main Buxton Road. So we've literally just turned off the Buxton Road and uh, heading into. Flash. But, uh, you can see there's not a lot of light left. Not that this camera is going to pick up anyway. We've uh, finally made it back to the car, and luckily we parked outside the pub earlier on, so we're going to go in there and get warm. Ooh. Right, so back at the car, and uh, we're both eagerly waiting, eagerly waiting for the heater to warm up. <laughs> because it's not very warm, it's absolutely freezing. <coughs> I My mean, window screen's frozen at the minute. But we've had a really we've had a really good day, haven't we? A really good yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah. We don't know how many kilometres we've done, so I'll have to obviously work that one out and stick it up on the screen. But uh, a really good walk. A bit shorter than we were planning, but we ended up on Axe Edge Moor triangulation pillar. So we went a, bit, a little bit further out our way and it was really arduous, weren't it, in the conditions? So it was very arduous. <laughs> we've just we've decided. I fell down the hole and Jim fell in the hole after me. <laughs> I know. I think I've actually got that on video. So. <coughs> but uh, yeah, we've decided that if we hadn't have walked along the path, we'd actually still be walking now. <laughs> well, till about twelve o'clock tonight, probably. 
But yeah, that's it. Job done. The most, I would say that's the most energetic walk we've done for a while. Yeah, I'd say that. Probably not uh, not on not on distance, but on pure effort. Put it, you know, put into the actual walk itself. But anyway, that's the end of the video. So we'll catch you again. Selfie stick. Say goodbye. Goodbye.